So I thought today would be a good day to do uh, another vlog. Um, got a new toy to help me get all these logs out of the woods. I've been cu cutting up some more trees. And I got this thing called a, a Bannon log wagon. Carries about 1,800 pounds in it. Um, built really heavy duty. Seems, seems real good so far. So um, I'm looking forward to giving a little bit of a workout today and getting it out into the woods. And perfect day, beautiful sunny day. Thought it'd be a nice day to uh, try to record a little bit and uh, show you what's going on. All right, talk to you soon. gas up, big saws ready to go too, and uh, gonna get out here and try to clean up some of this mess that's been, had, all these trees have fallen down out here, and uh, I've already thrown a few of the logs in the, in the trailer, but uh, it's uh, still a bit messy, and I got some more down in the woods down there. Those are some nice hardwood ones, I'm gonna try to get down there a little bit later and get those. Um, those are ones that I can use for my, my sawmill. All right, so I got everything I wanted to get out of here for now. I uh, have some shorter ones here that still need to be cut up for firewood. I've got one 10-foot cedar. You can see it's nice and nice and red. Got red wood inside, and uh, a bunch of stuff that was scrap that I cut up for firewood as well. Although most of it down, some hardwood down there is good, but a lot of this pine isn't good for much. So, uh, but. There's one 10 footer pine down there that I'll save for the sawmill. Pull that out with a chain and the ETV. It's a little too heavy. I could pull the cedar out, but I couldn't do that one. And then uh, we'll head back to the mud here. Maybe pick up a few more of some logs that I've cut already that are lying around. About time for lunch though, so I think I'm gonna quit for now. Take a little break, re-nourish my body, get some strength, and uh, I'll come back out. We'll get back to it out here and back to normal. this uh, rig to help me uh, get these 800 pound 500 pound logs up onto the trailer I've got another big one to try to get on here I don't know how much I should be trying to take because I've got to go across the couple streams but the logs are out there in the woods <clears throat> so I had to hook the chain from the back of the UTV and pull them out and pull them up over the hill and that thing I put it in you know, uh, locked in the four-wheel and put it in low. I mean, I couldn't believe that it, it pulled it. That's 
it's hard to tell from here, but it's a pretty steep hill, so um, with the log, so I'm pulling it all out. Anyway, I want to give you a little update. Um, figured I'd show you uh, how that thing works while I was cranking it. It's not supposed to necessarily be a log. I need a big piece of steel plate with a pulley on it so that I don't have to have a log roll in there, but that actually worked pretty well. So that's it for now. All right, well, it took some doing, but I got uh, got it loaded up. And the second log was a lot bigger than the first one. And uh, I got it on there. Got it strapped. Now the big, big question is, can I get it back across the brook and up over the hill and out of here? And... Uh, the other two, I'll have to come back another day for those. So, anyway, I'll unload and then uh, I'll call it a day. <laughs> So, as you saw, um, it was a lot easier to get those logs off than it was to get them on. And, uh, just need to build some kind of a ramp or something to go on the back of this thing. So, and get that steel bar that I want to go across with a big pulley on it. So, when I crank that thing up, it'll pull the log great. Maybe up a ramp. dark and uh, I gotta pack it up for tonight so I think this has been interesting <laughs> I don't know I thought I'd try it out today and uh, show you the new toy new, new tool really that'll help me get a lot of the logs out otherwise I just no way to get those out 